I'm Karen Sutherland from Edible Eden Design and today we're going to look at how to find out what your soil type is. So I'm going to show you a really simple test that you can do with just a few different pieces from your house and that way at the end of this you'll find out how much clay is in your soil, what percentage sand, what rock percentage if you have it and you'll be able to analyse what's in your soil very easily and then you'll know what to add to it, what sort of plants are going to grow in it naturally and what you might need to fix it with to make things grow better. What we're going to need today for this is a jar and with nice straight edges so that you can measure more easily. A ruler for the measuring. You're also going to need a trowel to get some soil out of your garden. Some water and a little bit of dish detergent. First of all we measure our jar and we use the straight edged portion of the jar and that is about 12 centimeters maybe a fraction more but 12 centimeters from the bottom to the top so that's easy to divide into three and have four centimeters of soil and eight centimeters of water. So the first step is that we clear the mulch off the soil and anytime you're doing a soil test or taking soil to find out whether you have heavy metals by sending that off to a lab or by doing your own pH test to test your sweetness or your sourness of your soil or this test you need to clear the mulch first. So you just use your trowel and you scrape back the mulch because the mulch is going to give you a different reading. So scrape it back get it nice and clear. Now if you happen to have a layer of any sort of composty stuff over the top that's not representative of the soil as a whole then don't use that either just scrape that off. This I know is pretty much what is representative through the garden so this is um, quite useful for my test. I really want to know what is this slightly improved clay made of. I already know this soil is very heavy clay in this area but it's been improved for years. So I'm loosening it so I can get into it and you want to get a little bit of depth so you get a representation of what's in there and then I'm going to put some in my jar. Don't include roots, you don't really want those either and that's the same when you do a pH test. Try to keep the large root sections out, not quite enough yet. Just do a little check, get it flat, maybe just a tiny touch more. Oops. Okay, that's about one third. There's a couple of roots in there, I might just get those out. They're not going to affect it that much, but you're trying to check the soil a bit more maybe. No, not too much. Anyway, you know, fiddle around, get it right. That's stage one. Now we're going to add water. So we're going to fill our jar up to that straight edged area. Like so, that's stage two. And then we're just going to add a little squirt of detergent just to help it all stick together. It's getting sticky already. Stage three. Now we're going to put the lid on our jar and vigorously shake it. So that's the first steps of our soil assessment test. Now we sit our jar down and we set a timer and we wait two minutes for our first reading. Now we've reached two minutes, so we take our first reading and we're going to mark it with a permanent texture like a Sharpie. So that we can later on assess that as a proportion of the rest of the soil. 